Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in operating system that is a critical section problem. Critical section problem. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the process synchronization and why we require the process synchronization. So if you if there are cooperative processes, so they must be executed concurrently and they have to share the common resources, the common variable, right? So in such cases, there might be a chance of getting a race condition. So the data will be inconsistent. So that's why we require the process synchronization. So in order to avoid the race condition, such race condition, one solution or one uh, problem is this critical section problem. So here, a critical section is a code segment. It is a code segment. So which allows only one process to execute, right? So if two process want to execute, if one process is being executed, the another process have to wait until the first process completes its execution, right? So this is a shared memory, right? This is a shared memory. So if one process, see, if there are two processes, if one process is executing and the another process P2 have to wait until P1 completes its execution. That means the P1 after completion of its execution, the P1 deallocates all the resources by bounded with that process and then only the P2 will be taking over the control of processor. So this type of thing we call it as a critical section problem, right? So here, see, this is a code segment as I have said that critical section and this particular section is having the three things. One is the entry section, entry section and this is a critical section. And this is an exit section. Right? Critical entry section, critical section and exit section. So if one process is in a critical section, no other process will be allowed to execute. Right? So the entry section will be acting as a, a gate. A gate. Right? To enter the process. So if one process enters into this critical section, the entry will be stopped for another process, right? If there are any other process wants to get executed, so that those process will be uh, halted or weighted by this entry section. And whenever a process completes its execution, immediately the exit section will release, release or deallocate resources resources bounded with that particular process then only the entry section will enter i mean will allow the another process to get enter into the critical section for example let us take p1 and p2 so p1 and p2 are the two and p3 there are three processes okay three processes they need to get executed so here the shared memory shared memory in this shared memory, we can have variables, functions, and any other resources, any other resources, right? Any other resources. So, if the process wants to be get executed, all the processes can access this shared memory, either they can access the variables, functions or other resources and all these are common to all the processes. So if P1 enters into this critical section, the P2 and P3, P2 and P3 will be in a waiting section, will be in a waiting section. So once it was completed, so whenever the P1 get to the exit, then a P2 will enter into the critical section. So Entry section is used to stop other processes to enter into the critical section until this critical section becomes free. 
so whenever the process is get executed in the critical section and whenever the process completes its execution so it, the process will come to the exit section where all the resources and the shared memory will be released for that particular process then only the another process will be allowed to enter into this critical section so this is how the processes will be get executed the best example for this problem is our atm so we all know about this atm right so anytime we can go to the atm uh, machines and we can get the amount right so at a time only one person can enter into the atm and once if if one person is availing the services the another person have to wait until he or she completes its execution right so once the person inside the atm have completed the services so when he comes out then only the second person will be allowed to the, uh, use the services in the atm machine right so that is one example another example availing the printer service in a network so if there is a network we are having a lot of uh, systems available in the network and we are having one printer only one printer which is shared among all the different computers so at a time only one print can be done by the printer right so if system 1 gives a print and at the same time if system 2 also gives a print system 2 will be in the waiting state until the system 1 prints i mean whatever the job given by the system 1 completes its execution so once the task given by the system 1 has been completed then system 2 process will be get executed so this is the example that means at a time only one process can complete its execution and until it completes its execution all the remaining processes will be in the waiting state right now the solution is the process should satisfy the three conditions in order to get in this critical section problem so what are the three solution i mean three conditions so first condition is a mutual execution exclusion mutual exclusion so every process should satisfy this the the three concepts so whenever these three conditions are being satisfied that that mean there is a synchronization so there will be no race condition there will be no race condition so in our previous example we have seen the two processes are uh, uh, having i mean uh, sharing the same memory so the data will be inconsistent so we have seen some three instructions for producer and three instructions for consumer so uh, executing the instructions may give the inconsistent data right so that is why we are getting some race uh, race conditions right so here if the process obeys this mutual exclusion and the remaining two process that means that remaining two conditions like progress and bounded weight so automatically there is a uh, overcome of race condition there will be no question of race condition the data will be always consistent so what is a mutual ex exclusion so mutual exclusion means so at a time at a time only one process only one process is being executed in critical section in critical section right so if one process is in the critical section the other process have to wait that is called a mutual exclusion and the second condition progress progress so progress means if any one of the process doesn't want to execute uh, in the critical section it have to allow other process to enter the critical section and uh, other process need to execute the process right so that is called a progress that is called a progress so if one process doesn't require critical section that process should not
stop the other process to get executed so if one process doesn't need the critical section it should not stop the other process to take uh, the control of this critical section right so we have to allow other process to complete its execution right and that is the second one and the third one bounded weight bounded weight so actually this bounded weight means so every process should have some boundary of waiting time right so there must be some prediction there should be some prediction how much time the process needs to be get completed its execution right so bounded waiting so every process have to complete an execution before its predicted waiting time waiting time so every process requires some sort of amount i mean some sort of time to complete its execution right so we have to predict that time waiting time right so every process should complete its execution before its predicted waiting time right so this mainly uh, this condition if, if if any process fails this condition automatically there will be becoming a starvation problem that means the other process which is waiting for the critical section will be keep on waiting for the for its execution so whatever the pro process which is available in the critical section doesn't completes its execution and still the remaining processes will be in a waiting state so that should not happens so after some amount of time so the process should give the control to the another process to complete its execution so there should be some limitation on waiting time so the process which is availing the critical section should complete its execution before that particular boundary of waiting time so if any process satisfies all these three conditions then there is no pro there is no question of race condition so automatically the process synchronization will be possible right and the data will also be a consistent and which process for example we have said that there are three processes and this is a critical section and one process is being executed and p2 and p3 are being waiting for the critical section so which process will be get executed that will be taken care by the scheduling algorithms so process scheduling algorithm will take care about which process is having the priority and which process should be uh, executed in the critical section right so this also will taken by the scheduling uh, algorithms right so the name itself indicates the scheduling means which process should be executed first and which process should be executed next the order of executing the processes based upon the priority and other uh, requirements right so if any process uh, satisfies these three conditions we can say there is will be no race condition automatically the data will also be in a consistent so this is called the critical section problem so only one point at a time only one process should use this critical section so one process can share the memory we can access the shared memory so other process should be wait uh, until the process completes its execution right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you very much.